Hey, it's Tina Forsyth here. All right, we're almost at the end of the year. Can you imagine? It's crazy. I can't believe it's the last month of the year. It's December here. Um, and of course, this is a time of year where we're planning and looking forward and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, I want to talk about revenue streams with you guys, and in particular, automating and leveraging your revenue streams, which at the end of the day basically means how do you take your expertise, the value that you offer, the amazing work that you do for your clients, and how can you offer that in bigger, better ways so that you can continue to serve more clients, to make more money, but it doesn't have to take up more of your time and energy, right? So we're gonna talk about this, this process, kind of a, the various elements or pieces of this here in the next few videos together. Now, what I wanna start with today is actually a very simple exercise, although it might be a little tough for some of you to do. And what I want you to do is I want you to kill off one of your revenue streams. I want you to let go of and to stop offering at least one of the things that you're currently offering right now. And here's why I say this, right? If you want to make room for the new, if you want to continue to expand, part of that process is letting go of the things that no longer serve you and no longer serve your clients probably as well, right? And also too, I think for a lot of us that we may or may not realize how much time and energy we're pouring into things that aren't necessarily giving us a big return. Now, you're probably familiar with the idea of the 80-20 principle, right? Is it Pareto principle, I think? I'm not sure if I have that right, but the idea of the 80-20 rule is that quite often, you know, like 80% of your results are gonna come from 20% of your effort. 80% of your income can come from 20% of your clients. 80% of your revenue can come from 20% of what you're offering. And this can show up in your business in various ways, this 80-20 principle. But in particular today, what I want you to look at is, look back over the past year, the past 12 months, or January to estimated end of December here as we're in 2013, and write out specifically for everything that you offer, every product, every service, every package, every training, every book, every whatever it is that you bring to the table, right? Write out for each of those things, how much income have they brought into the company? How much income, how much revenue have they brought into the company? How much have you sold for each of those things already here this year? Now take up first and foremost when this happens, you might be a little surprised to see how this comes together. I know the first time I started doing this exercise a number of years ago as part of my planning process, um, I was quite honestly surprised to see some of the things that I thought were making me money really weren't. And some of the things that were actually making me the most amount of money I thought weren't my key uh, revenue stream. So it can actually be enlightening overall just to see this list. But I want you to focus on what's at the bottom of that list. What are the one, two or three things that are at the bottom of that list as far as the amount of money they, that they have brought into your business this year. And there's a decision to be made here, right? There's a decision to be made. Is it worth the time and energy and effort to continue to offer those in the new year, right? Are you willing to, maybe it's something you're just getting started with, you're just gearing up on and you know that next year you're gonna have the, the momentum, the marketing, the foundation, whatever in place to really grow from there. That's great, keep those things on your plate right? But if you're anything like me and a number of my clients that I, that I work with in this area, quite often you're going to find things where you're like, eh, we've done a bit of this here and there. Sure, made us a few bucks, but honestly, is it worth continuing? Is it worth continuing? You know, looking at that lower 20% of your income for the year, is there anything in there that you can let go of? Maybe one, maybe two, maybe more that you can actually let go of. I know for myself or in our company right now that there's definitely one thing for sure that we are no longer going to be offering next year. Because quite honestly, uh, it's not a huge money maker. It's one of those things where eh, it's popped up here and there. People ask for help. Why not? We'll give it a go kind of thing, right? But at the end, end of the day, revenue wise hasn't been worth the return and headache wise has actually probably caused more headache or stress than anything else that we offer in the business right now. See you later. We're going to get rid of that one, right? So I asked that question of you today. What revenue stream? can you let go of? What revenue, stream, what revenue stream, what product or service they're offering can you say goodbye to here at the end of the year so that you can create way, create space and time and energy for the new, for the new stuff. And that's what we're going to talk about in the next video is how to start to consider, con consider, I don't even think that's a word, consider what you would like to uh, create new in 2014 as well. All right, till next time, Tina Forsyth here. Bye now.